Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Days with me Lone Avenger and yes as you can see I've changed my skin I am now Edward, Edward Elric um, This is for my uh, uh, ticket series I'm going to start recording over the weekend with my friend Andrew uh, It's going to be an RP ticket series where I am Ed, he is Al um, From Fomal Alchemist uh, Because uh, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, well, there is a reference, like, there's, like, at least three references, at least, well, um, in Tech It, a uh, couple references to, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, and, uh, there's, uh, the, refer the references I know are, um, there's a transmutation table, um, Actually, there's two. There's the transmutation table, and then there's the philosopher's stone. And um, I know, yes, the philosopher's stone in Tega isn't made with a uh, hundred human souls. It's made with one diamond, a couple of redstone, and a couple of glowstone. But that's the point of it, I guess. Um, oh, whoops. Uh, the uh, what we are going to try to do, we're going to try to uh, mass produce. Uh, philosopher stones, um, kind of like uh, the Yogg's cast did with their uh, Jaffers, uh, whatever, Jaffer cakes. Uh, we're gonna be uh, mass producing uh, philosopher stones, um, and there's gonna be like an RP series. So there's gonna be like um, uh, references of Full Metal Alchemist. So um, uh, if you are uh, excited for that, I guess uh, uh, tune in. Um, uh, we might record, uh, this Saturday, um, um, maybe, maybe not, uh, um, since, uh, I am now done with swimming officially, uh, for high school, um, I have really nothing to hold me back now from, uh, recording, I guess. So, um, over the, over, uh, this President's Day break, um, we're probably going to be recording a lot of, a uh, lot of, a lot of that, and, um, also I'll probably be, uh, probably playing some Portal on, um, on the computer, uh, on the PC, Mac thing. Uh, I never played the original, and I kind of jumped right into the second one. Excuse me, right away, and I think, um, the second one, you didn't really know how, you didn't really know... You didn't really need to know the whole synopsis of the first game to play the second game. Just, um, I think uh, Saints Row the Third is kind of similar to that game. I never played the first two. And, um, uh, I don't think knowing any information about, uh, the first two really affected how I played, uh, the second one. I mean, probably, like, a little bit, maybe. But not, like, a whole lot. Because there, pro there were, like, um... There's probably, but there's probably like I don't know like I don't know some some kind of sequence thing I guess about uh, Saints Row the Third uh, that that was a pretty good game uh, I I enjoyed it a lot but uh, since I really didn't have anyone to play with I, yeah, I got rid of it and uh, I'm kind of upset because. Uh, now I, I kind of guess it's getting popular again, maybe a little bit. I don't know, maybe. Uh, <sighs> See, the the stairs are so finicky now. You have to place them while you're looking down. It's kind of really stupid. Anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, last time we uh, chopped down a full tree just uh, before I ended it. Oh, excuse me, I just had dinner. Ugh, kind of burping. And uh, I guess we'll chop down another one. I'm gonna leave this chicken here. He's he he will be known as uh, Fester, the jungle chicken, who likes to swim in the local river. Damn, that's a long way down. And um, also now that I'm done, I'll probably be uh, recording some more machinimas. Uh, oh look, there's some cocoa beans. That's what I said I was gonna do. I was gonna look for some cocoa beans. All right, cool. Um, so I'll probably be posting like maybe some machinimas. Um, uh, hopefully I uh, 
do rack up enough cash to get a final cut which would be amazing. Um, I pr I like using Final Cut because I've used it a lot in my uh, media productions class that I took in, uh, what was it, 10th and 11th grade. And it was a really fun class, and I really enjoyed using Final Cut a lot, so I'm probably going to be... I don't know, um, I, I'm not that close to uh, anyone who makes machinimas, like um, someone like uh, MLG Haunt or uh, Cool Dude or someone like that who's like they're, they're not um, they're not as well known as other people but they're pretty uh, they're pretty uh, they got like a couple thousand subscribers um, I mean I am friend uh, Haunt did uh, add me uh, on, a, on Steam as a friend but probably out of the courtesy of uh, I don't know being nice or something I don't know hopefully I do rank up to uh, close to his level and uh, maybe I can um, ask him what kind of software he uses because uh, I listened to uh, the Double Jump podcast uh, earlier today and they said that they all use DxTory and uh, D I looked it up and DxTory is unfortunately a Windows program. Um, so there's another uh, roadblock uh, I have faced. I'm hitting a lot of roadblocks. It's, it, it sucks a lot because... I'm not, like, I, I'm not at the one, I can't, like, do, I can practically do, like, less than 50% of what other people are doing for, uh, Machinima and Minecraft and all that other stuff. Um, I'm under, I'm under par, I'm, like, really, um, under par with everything, um, uh, recording-wise. But, um... It, it, it's mainly due to A, not having a job, B, and, well, actually, it's, yeah, it's just A and B, just uh, not having a job, and, uh, like, a year-round job, and not, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, not having, um, a Windows computer, like a, a window, uh, a computer that runs Windows, but, uh, hopefully, um, <laughs> Uh, maybe in the, in the next couple uh, months, I'll get enough. Um, I probably won't go all out with like a badass computer. Probably just probably just uh, one that'll uh, get me through and everything. I saw this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think it might be a PC. So um, and then later on, I'll probably get uh, a laptop just so I can do stuff on the go. Like, if I go somewhere like PAX or something in the future, and if I do get that famous enough, probably, um, probably get, uh, the Razer New Blade. The Razer New Blade is the equivalent of buying a car, basically, because it's, like, two grand, it's, like, two and a half grand. Uh, let's see where, I think we could put this, like, right here, so we'll put, actually, no, well, we'll put, um, gotta find a good spot for the Cocoa Bean Farm. Yeah, so, um, just chop down these trees. Alright, so what I've, uh, saw, I think we'll do it like five high and five across, so it'd be a 25 by 25. One, two, okay, like one, two, three, four, five, five, like that. Five. No. Wait, they all gotta be straight. Alright. Alright, cool. And now, dig a hole for the water. And uh, now we place the cocoa beans. So wow! So wow, two already grew. Oh, that's awesome. Now we gotta make some dispensers. But I, I think I was stringing this one. String. Okay, uh, you can't use the damage bow, to my knowledge, you can't. 
I might have to kill some spiders. I think I am. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna kill some spiders. I'm gonna need some water. I'm probably gonna need. Because I, I. I can't speak. I'm definitely gonna need. Um, at least two dispensers. And I only have the one. Piece of string. You need like six. And I'm pretty sure you can't take wool and turn it into string. Uh, hmm. What am I going to do? Maybe I can't, maybe I can take a used one. Let me see. I know it's starting to cobble. I think it's like that. Bow, piece of redstone. Yeah, you can't use the damage bow. And, that, and there's no way that I know to fix it. So, what do we do? Do we wait till night or something? Wow, some of them have already grown full sized. Let's get some of this dirt and just like clean up some of the areas in the. Uh... Wait, maybe there's string in here. Ooh, scary noise. Nope, I guess not. Whatever, I'll just take this dirt. Oh, that's a nice. That's nice. Nice sunset. Let's take this dirt and do this. Ooh, that tree just popped up. And I will take just this. Like that. Alright, looks better. Alright, now that the sun is setting. I think I'll end it right here. Thank you, uh, thank you guys. I think I should put that away now that I'm not, uh, Rindo Kumaru anymore. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you, uh, return, uh, tomorrow, um, for the next episode of Minecraft Days. Uh, I'll probably just, uh, cut it right here, and I'll go hunting for, uh, some spiders, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.